I've been the owner since um, 2004. We're celebrating this year 14 years. But you know, Fuller's Men's Shop has been in this area since 1945. And I'm considered Fuller's Men's Shop III. Growing up in Jamaica was very interesting. Jamaica is one of the British colony, and everything was in the, the British art. I'm a tailor, a master tailor, and it started home. My mother also was a dressmaker. And it's always said that you should um, train a child the right way, that when he goes, grows up old, he'll never depart from it. And that's exactly what happened to me. I, I, I grew up in a home of tailoring and sewing and mending. So it was just so natural when um, I wanted to become a lawyer. And um, my, my sisters were all studying in college. My father taught it best to sell me into the fashion. And that's where I start. I have had the extreme pleasure of knowing Roy for the past 10 years now. And he does everything that he can to help anyone in any way that he can. Roy can make anyone look fashionable at any time. So he's his own entity, I think, in that realm. Just about everybody dreams and, and, and ambition to be where it's at. And America is where it's at. And New York is the fashion of the world. When I came into um, the United States of America, before I have my company in Kingston, Jamaica, I was actually almost 15 years running my own company. But then, and uh, I gave it up and I came to America and I started to work with other corporations because I want to be where the top fashion is at. And while working at those stores, I used to do part-time job at Photos Men's Shop here. And then when my boss decided to get out of the business, I realized I'm about to lose my part-time job. So rather than just take a slice of the bread, I, I just take the whole loaf, which was really, really a challenge. You just imagine a business going out, going out because of location, time, and competitors. And I came in fresh. I was like only three, four years in this country when I actually bought Fuller's Men's Shop. So it was not, it was a challenge. But as I say, um, whatever become a challenge for me is an opportunity. I know there's a lot of big stores, they are big corporation, and they come in the area and they basically just, just take the money and they go. Fowler's has been doing community service since Mr. Fowler's 1945. So giving to the community at large is very important to me. About six to seven to suit, I've passed on to the, um, to the veterans because we have a veteran program here where we donate suit to the veterans who just come back and want to go out for job interviews or just want a suit to wear. Roy Thompson is just real sweet, kind-hearted, cares about every employee, customer, everybody who walks in, in and out that door. He treats with full on respect. One satisfied customer is worth much more than a profit margin. If you make the money and the customer is not happy, you know, you're really not doing much. So I, I, I prize myself in relationship with my customers. It's a great feeling when you walk in the door and you're greeted with a smile and conversation. It's not just about the sale that they can make, but the friendship that they can acquire as well. We care for our customers. We have customers who come in for interview suit and what we'll do, we'll get it ready on a short notice and they will call you after the interview, how was it? We want you to know that we're a part of your life. And even wedding, we do a lot of weddings, we want to know that all the weddings went perfect. We look forward for that pictures. And as we said before and again, regular, big and tall, we fit you all. We love you all. Thank you.